there, everybody, Maria Marquis. I have another coded tip for you. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring text and formulas together like peanut butter and jelly and make a beautiful sandwich. So when we're working in Coda, we may have uh, paragraphs of information we're writing for reports or readouts. And some of that might need the power formulas like sales data or your new pitch. And who wants to have to go through their paragraph and change everything manually? Because what if it happens at the last minute, something automatically changes? That's where formulas can help us out. So what I have here is I have a table up at the top for all of these different product launches. So we've got the launch name, who's the point person, the headline, all sorts of details about it. And then below, I've created a little paragraph area. So what I have is I have a little drop down menu, which is pulling from that table. So here's our super cake launch. Here is our personal cake launch. Here is our cake plus launch. And notice the information here changes as I'm working. So how I did that is this particular selector is pulling from that launch table right there. And I have named it the launch selector. So now I have get ready for the, and I'm gonna right click and notice I'm just saying launch selector dot and the name. So whatever's in that select list, pull out the name. Then for the point person, I did the same thing. I said, hey, look at that launch selector dot the point person. Then for the too long didn't read, you guessed it, launch selector dot too long didn't read. And I've done that for every single thing here. So even if we change at the last minute that the Cake Plus is now being run by um, Alice, right? Notice it changes down there. And we can also say need more than just a slice or maybe 10 slices, boom. Notice everything changes everywhere we're going. So just do that dot and pull out whatever you want and your text is automatically up to date. Thank <laughs> you.